Let the continuous random variables x and y have joint probability density function f of x, y equals 1 for x values between 0 and 1 and y values between 0 and 1. Find the probability that 0 is less than x squared is less than y is less than 1. Now the first thing to recognize is that the support is the unit square. And so that's what you see right here. This is x values ranging from 0 to 1, y values ranging from 0 to 1. So script A is the support. Now the next thing that we'd like to find is we would like to find the probability that x squared is less than y is less than 1. And that can be found with a double integral. Now we know that double integral will go over the joint probability density function. So this is just the integral of 1. And now we have to decide whether to go dy dx or dx dy. So first of all, let's take a look at what this region is. And y equals x squared is the parabola, which is right here. And since we're claiming that y is larger than x squared, that is this shaded region right here. So this event corresponds to the shaded region. In this particular case, it's really the same amount of work to go dx dy or dy dx. So since it doesn't matter, we will run the strips for the double integral in this fashion. You know the name of this top curve is y equals 1. And you know that the name of the bottom curve down here at the bottom is y equals x squared. So because of that, we will be putting in a dy dx. And y will run from x squared up to 1. The first of those strips will start over here at x equals 0. And the last one will be at x equals 1. And we have now set up the double integral. On the inside, the integral of 1 dy will just be y. And that is evaluated from x squared up to 1. And when you plug in, you will get 1 minus x squared dx. Now, when you integrate 1 minus x squared, that will be x minus x cubed divided by 3, evaluated from 0 to 1. And that will be 1 minus 1 third, which is 2 thirds minus 0. So this probability is 2 thirds. This is a pretty easy double integral to handle. If it were a little bit tougher, you might want to do it in a uh, computer algebra system such as Maple or uh, Mathematica or Wolfram Al Alpha, any of those. And here is the way that it is done in Maple. It is int of int of 1, which is the integrand. And this is for y going from 1 up to x squared. And outside for x going from 0 up to 1. And you close all maple statements with a semicolon.